Hey, how's it going, guys? It is Fox Knight here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of my F1 2021 Road to Mercedes. If you guys end up enjoying today's video, feel free to drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here as well. And uh, spoilers. So if you haven't seen the last episode, I'd recommend going and checking that out before you uh, watch this one right now. Because I'm about to spoil what happened in the last episode. So you've had enough time now. Uh, as you can see from the standings and if we go to the season results, we actually picked up a win at the last race in the Brazilian Grand Prix with the fastest lap in the wet weather conditions. And uh, somehow in the previous five races, we've picked up two, uh, three second place finishes and a victory. Um, absolutely ball in that. Um, but yeah, having a lot of, just having fun, which is the most important thing. Uh, and uh, that is what we care about. But we're here for the Australian Grand Prix. Bit unusual seeing this one here, but obviously it is. Can I actually do any driver perks? No, I don't have any money. Um, but as we head into this race, we'll get into the laptop and have a look at the progress of each of the teams. Right, so as we enter the laptop then, uh, we've apparently got some rain coming in for the race, which would be quite interesting. Here you can see apparently we've done 15 plus upgrades. That's false. Uh, we've actually done two aero upgrades for front and rear downforce. But having a look though at the R&D tree to see how everyone uh, got on in all of their upgrades, you can see that uh, Mercedes lead the way with some more upgrades. McLaren, McLaren, Red Bull and Aston Martin are basically on top of each other. Alpine have jumped in front of Ferrari with a massive upgrade. Alphatari have sort of stayed still. Uh, Alfa Romeo have got in front of them and we're pretty much on level spec with Alfa Romeo and Haas are just, well kind of just dawdling in their own little merry lands, but that's just, you know, that's them basically doing their own thing. Um, but we also are going to need to be protecting uh, the chassis and durability, because as you see, there are some regulation changes in the last episode. We actually protected uh, three things for the chassis, and they were all major upgrades. Um, so it means then we've got this episode and the, Austra and the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix to protect all the minor stuff, plus with one other major thing in there. So let's get straight into practice then, uh, and get this underway, because we need to keep protecting. That is the important thing. If we're not protecting, then we're well, just going to be stuffing it. I mean, I'm not driving for Williams next season. I've already completed the objectives to get to uh, Aston Martin. But, like I said in the last episode, I don't want to leave them in the absolute dust. And, of course, that is not what we're going to be doing. Oh, I can only do this one. I suppose I'll just try it. It's 50% sex. I'll probably, I said sex or something. I don't even know. We still got it anyway, though. So that's a good start to the session. That's uh, not a good lap, that. That's a long way off what Yuki Tsunoda set. I feel like this is another strong track. It's strong track, sorry, for the AI. It wasn't really strong for them last year. It was a mid-ground track. In fact, it might have even suited the player a bit more. Wow. Uh, not good enough from us, unfortunately. Uh, it is going to be a Q1 elimination for us here today. P17 on the roads. We did not have the pace. Um, well, that's actually really poor. Fuck me. That was a complete comparison, contrast. Jesus, Lewis Hamilton. C compared to where we've been. 2.2 seconds off the pace. That's, yeah, that's quite painful, actually. Uh, I just want to see where the difference was between myself and Jim and actually getting out of Q1. Uh, compared to it. So, Giovinazzi did a 26.5, a 21.5, and a 32.0. We did a 26.5, a 21.7, so we lost two tenths. Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong time. A 26.4, so we actually had a tenth up. A 21.5 and a 32.3, compared to what will be his 31... No, 32.0. Yeah, we lost all of our time in the final sector. Hmm, not good. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix in Melbourne for what no doubt will be an intense day of racing. Here we are then at the Albert Park circuit. 3.3 miles of bumpy street track, but not a lot in the way of elevation changes. The circuit goes all the way around the lake, taking in 16 corners. Note the DRS zones into turns 1, 3 and 13. They'll offer our drivers a number of good opportunities to overtake. 
And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Norris, Sebastian Vettel, and Perez, Stroll, Verstappen, Giovinazzi, and Charles Leclerc, Thomas, Fernando Alonso, Mick Schumacher, and Russell, Mazepin, Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty, Esteban Ocon, and Yuki Tsunoda. Raikkonen, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Holy grid penalties, we're starting in 11th place. Fab, we qualified 17th and we're starting 11th. That's mad. Anyway, uh, one stop strategy. Uh, Giovinazzi is starting on the medium tyres. That's a bit fancy, my friend. Never mind, five lights. Lovely start. Trying to cover off Leclerc here. Also not crash, that helps. Good stuff, right behind Vettel. They're having a scrap behind me. Little tap on Stroll's bum there. It was necessary though, I had to give him a cheeky tap on his bum bums there. Alright, now up towards Sergio. Oh, Vettel's got a storming run out of here. It's gonna go side by side. There's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to put oh, the safety car right now. Bloody Vettel's cost me there. It's because of where he positioned his car. I'm being mugged now. This isn't fun. I'm trying to... I'm trying to solve all my problems. This isn't going to end well! It's fine. Absolutely fine. I don't know why you were panicking. I wasn't. This is going to be a completely different race to the Brazilian Grand Prix. We're going to be on our back foot defending from lights to flag. So be it. We'll get on with it. Oh shit! Oh that looks bollocks. Bad. Are you alright? Let me know you're alright. No, I'm not alright, Jeff. I've just died. What do you think's just happened? Oh bollocks. Right, as you can see then, as we're going through this high speed chicane here. I actually did alright then. I didn't even I didn't even hit uh, the um What's the word now? Like as we come through here, look, I'll slow it down. We come through, we, we nail that. We go a little bit wide here, but we haven't actually... Have we got a wheel on the grass at all? The faintest half a wheel has hit the grass. The rear tyre has just hit the grass with some understeer. Right there. And that set us on a collision course with death, basically. And straight into the barriers. It's not that we didn't have great pace around here, but... We could have done something with that. I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm actually annoyed. That's a clumsy mistake to make. Right, well, uh, as you can see then, uh, well, we died on um, like lap two. It's a 1-2 for Mercedes. Norris overtakes Ricardo to take P3. Verstappen finishes fifth. Bad news is that Lance Stroll finished in sixth, and we'll tell you why in just a second. Perez seventh. Alonso eighth. Leclerc ninth. Ocon tenth. Uh, and yeah, quite embarrassing, really. In the Drivers' Championship, Verstappen moves to fifth in the table, uh, jumping myself and Leclerc. Leclerc also jumps me. Uh, so there's four points now separating myself, uh, Leclerc, and Verstappen. 
Uh, and then Stroll jumps in front of Sainz uh, and also Pierre Gasly as well in the Drivers' Championship. And the Constructors, this is why it was bad, because Aston Martin now jump in front of us in the Constructors' Championship, meaning we are now in, going into the final round four points behind Aston Martin. I need to hope that Abu Dhabi is a good track for the, for the uh, player versus the AIs. Um, the circuit layout will benefit me, whether the actual game will allow me to have the fun there. I don't know, but yeah, what an awful race. It's like Japan. We're actually uh, heading into the final race then. Uh, it's quite nice actually, we've got two more weekly resources coming in. That's the only positive we can make out of this, is that we can uh, do something to help. Uh, something could actually technically come in time, but we're not going to upgrade the car anymore. We're going to protect everything, so starting off with this engine cover, uh, and then we'll do this upgrade, and then we'll do this one here, leaving us with three, uh, four more pieces to change, which are, what's that, about a thousand resource points, uh, about 1,200, 1,300, so nip and tuck whether we'll get them all done, but we'll give it a best shot, but guys, unfortunately, actually no, I just realised we can skip all the way to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, and we'll get those resource points in, which are going to be crucial, because then we could just protect another two or three things. We're actually going to be okay then for um, development well, pieces. The new parts come through the fabrication I didn't, I didn't, well, I didn't put anything on the car, country. mate. I really didn't put anything on the car. You probably should notice that. Now over to the chassis here with the 757 resource points. We can protect this upgrade, protect this one, and then that leaves us with just two left to protect, which we can do, meaning that we'll be able to get everything protected on this car for the next season. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video, even though it was a bit of a short one because it crashed. Uh, let me know if you did by leaving a like on the video and subscribing if you're new around here as well. Uh, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Take care all. Peace.